Hi Libra, this is your May 1st through 15th general tarot forecast. So this is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising signs. I hope everyone is feeling and doing okay. I know things are a little bit crazy right now, so hopefully this helps, if not help, entertain or, you know, give um, some sort of connection value. Um, Let's see what is ahead for you. What do you need to know? What do you need confirmed? What's going on for Libra the first two weeks of May? All right, guys. So this is just a fairly short reading. At least it's supposed to be. <laughs> fairly short reading um, for the first two weeks. You will have an extended monthly reading. So look forward to that. Probably by May 1st, things have been wonky time-wise here where I live because the last week has been extremely strange. Um, so my timeline's a bit off, but you'll definitely have an extended monthly. Look at this gorgeous energy. And then um, last two weeks, if I haven't already said that. Really nice. So something having to do with your home. Your home is safe. You're in a much better position than you may believe you are. And I may suggest even before getting into each card in its position, that something that looks like it's removed from your life or taken from you that you weren't expecting or seemed sudden is in your best interest. You're surrounded by love, um, choices, and balance. So if something does slide away from you or get removed or you have to remove yourself from something, it's for the, it's in your best interests. And we know this because bottom of the deck is an extremely big old horseshoe. This is the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter ruled, very expansive energy, extremely positive. Um, you really can't go wrong with Wheel of Fortune energy. You know, and it's also 10, there's a major cycle completing. And obviously with the tower here, something is definitely collapsing or being removed. Uh, that wasn't built to last anyway. It's time had come and gone, so I don't really see you even being upset about this. I see you even having foreknowledge or even um, being aware of it, at least subconsciously. So I don't think even though it's going to look sudden to uh, even you, but to certainly those around you, I don't think it will be sudden. I think the action or the removal might be sudden, but You've been aware of this for some time. You're incredibly emotionally attuned to what is going on around you. So this is in your best interest here, guys. The tower is the situation for the first two weeks of the month. Yeah, I do see you leaving something um, that it, um, perhaps you had your heart set on, perhaps that stole your heart that you put your heart into. But again, I think it is going to be very, very positive in the long run for you. Perhaps it was causing some problems. And ultimately, it's for the best, right? Ultimately, you can move from a former stage into a new stage that's going to be far more um, valuable and peaceful to you as well. So it's really nice to see the tower here, believe it or not, um, as the situation. Something is going to be removed or you will be leaving something that may look or appear to be sudden. Here is the reason, right? So you had a lot of choices. You had a decision to make. You had a lot of choices. You know, something we're dealing with cups here. So we're dealing with matters of the heart, of the emotional world, something that had, and of course with this ace of cups down here, more emotional energy. You know, you were looking for balance. You were looking for a way to connect, looking for each side or each person or each entity. Um, right? It's a general reading. I don't know what's going on for you personally, but you know, you were looking for, at least seeking for balance and camaraderie here. So it looks like you had some choices to make or you have some choices to make uh, if something is to go the wayside that you want it to. You have a lot of options here. If this is a love reading for you, you could have a lot of suitors at this time, especially if you've just broken up with somebody. Here in our recent past is the High Priestess. Glorious energy, again, pretty much no matter where you see this. And the Ace is just always good luck. So. Um, really nice to see the High Priestess here. You know, we are dealing with um, moon energy. This is your emotional world. This is perceptib perceptibility. This is intuition. I would even go so far as to say that this is, you know, teetering on psychic energy here as well, if you're comfortable with that. So, you know, whether or not, again, I, as I mentioned, whether or not you were consciously or subconsciously aware of something going uh, by the wayside or being undone or falling apart, 
it's not going to be too shocking to you because I think that you were perceptive to that anyway. And then it, it, this is going to benefit your home life, believe it or not. And, and maybe you had expected it or wanted it to happen or, or you know, took part in, in some things collapse because you knew it would benefit your home or your home life. Here with this really nice, um, pleasant Ace of Cups energy. I just love the Aces in this deck. They're so cute. And um, yeah, this really nice energy here. New opportunity of love, right? This is an offer of love. This is just feeling yourself. This is really feeling confident, feeling loved, feeling that there's a new opportunity that you can start fresh. Um, so this is the present. The future is a really nice balance. As I said, that Six of Pentacles offers enormous balance. Um, it could be slow moving energy, but I mean, it's generally built to last, so it's going to be extremely positive here. It does sit under the Seven of Cups. As we mentioned, there were, you know, there's some uh, choices in your emotional world or th several different things that could make you happy. It could just be, you know, uh, on the balance, what makes you happiest right now in terms of making a decision. Uh, if you do have choices, you know, just choose on the balance. What brings me the most happiness? What is the best use of my time and money? What is the fairest? That type of thing. And then your future, uh, sorry, your advice card could be considered a future card, but generally speaking, I like to call it the advice card is your four of wands. And this is just really a, a healthy, happy home. This is the foundation of a happy home. Um, you feel safe here. You feel um, very positive. Um, centered, inspired. I also have over the years, as I'm constantly learning uh, about astrology, tarot, anything occult, um, I am learning that there is an 1111. There's a wish energy here with the four of wands as well. So I would even start looking for multiples of numbers, especially 1111, or make 1111 wishes. Um, which you can do. You can write it down. You can just look for numbers. But yeah, you can be aware of multiples of numbers. Um, and 1111 is a wish number. So you could make a wish around your home at this time. We do have Mother Earth. Look at this. <laughs> so this could be, again, it's a general reading. I don't know what's going on in your own life. Um, but this could have to do with, you know, the Earth itself, your home on Earth, you know, type thing, as opposed to just your house that you live in, the four walls. And uh, there's a lot of spirit in this card as well. So that you, it could, this could have to do with more than, say, just your, your personal or immediate home life. This could have to do with the world at large, the way you impact the world, the way um, you want to spend your time doing that, where, where your heart is, um, what gets the most attention from you. So Mother Earth is extremely important to you. A turtle itself could be very important to you. We are dealing with another 10. We do have two 10s here. So major endings and completions. I do see you headed in a very positive, loving direction for yourself based on fairness and balance um, around people, time, money, um, and, and energy. So really nice reading for you there, Libra. Congratulations. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the other readings for your sign this month. Until then, take excellent care. Bye for now.